Hey guys, welcome to this episode of So This Happened, where we get to highlight and reveal stories that made a buzz recently. My name is Adebimpe Olajiga. Let's get into this. Ah, guys, let me quickly do this amebo for you before we move forward. Did you hear that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Mohamed Tanko, resigned on the 26th of June 2022, citing ill health as the reason for his decision. And in less than 24 hours, the President of Nigeria, Major General Mohamed Buhari, retired, swore in the next most senior justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, as the acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. Meanwhile, 14 justices of the Supreme Court had written him a letter to lament the state of affairs in the apex court and in the leaked letter, the justice accused the chief justice of Nigeria of refusing to address the issues despite drawing his attention to them. They also complained of, of a lack of residential accommodation and vehicles at the court. They also accused the Chief Justice of Nigeria of gallivanting with his spouse, children and personal staff while not allowing them to travel with an assistant on foreign trips. Not just that, the Justice decried the lack of legal research assistance despite the magnitude of cases being adjudicated. We are still talking about the leaked letter. The Justice said that they have been confined to work between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily for lack of diesel. After they were notified of the development by the Supreme Court Chief Registrar, Hadjo Bello. Meanwhile, Justice Tanko Muhammad did not attend the opening of the training for judges on alternative dispute resolution organized by the National Judicial Institute amidst reports of resignation. Well, I wish him best of luck on his decision. If you could recall that on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022, the Metropolitan Police of the United Kingdom announced that former Deputy Speaker of the Nigerian Senate, E.K. Ekwerimado and his wife, were charged to court over the allegation of bringing a child with the name David Upo Nimi to the UK for organ harvesting. Initially, there were controversies about his age, as David told the Metropolitan Police detectives that he is 15 years old, and whereas his passport revealed that he is 22 years old. So, after all the controversies, there was an interview with his younger brother, one Jonathan Upo Nimi, who disclosed that David told him he was traveling abroad to school but didn't disclose the country. He claimed he would be 22 years old next month, and David is 25 years old. I am aware that he traveled because he told me, that's according to his brother, but he did not disclose the country he was traveling to. He simply told me he was going to school abroad. So obviously, that was what he told his brother. Addressing the controversy surrounding his age, the Comptroller General of the NIS, Mr. Idris Jerry, at a press conference on Sunday, said that Nimi is indeed 21 years old according to his records in the possession of the NIS, discarding claims that the service didn't thoroughly vet the documents provided by the applicant. Hmm, this one deep -o. From 15 years old to 19 years old to 21 years old, 25 years old, uh -uh. please, I just have one question. Is he a footballer? Losing a child is painful. Now, losing three kids is simply devastating. A couple in Lagos have been thrown into mourning after their three kids drowned in a pool in Aja. So the estate has a pool which is accessible to residents. Then, the kids went to swim after their parents left home for an event and unfortunately, they all drowned in the pool. Hmm. The chief security officer of the estate was part of the people that found the children unresponsive and quickly rushed them to an hospital where they were all confirmed dead. They also quickly alerted the Aja police station and informed the parents that something urgent that required their attention had happened 
but didn't disclose what happened to their children. So the parents aborted the outing. It was when they met with the CSO and others that they were informed that their children drowned. Upon hearing this, the husband and the wife fainted and they were rushed to the hospital where they were revived. The children are all girls. The first child is 14 years old. The second child is seven years old and the third child is just three years old. Hmm, this is really sad. I hope that there's a CCTV there because I am trying to imagine what really happened. How no child could run to get help or maybe one went in and others followed in a bid to save the other. This is so sad. May their souls find rest and I pray their parents find comfort. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. And now we've come to the end of this episode. Be free to share your comments on any of the stories. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My name is Adebinkwe Olajiga.